What's up, guys? I'm Bill. And I'm Ross the Realtor. And this is the first episode of How's It Going? What's up, guys? It's Bill and Ross here, and welcome to our show, How's It Going?, where we're going to talk about what's going on, not just in the real estate market in Charleston, but around the area if you're looking for things to do. Uh, for those of you who don't know us, my name's Bill Olson. And I'm Ross Sims. Uh, I work out of the James Island office here at ERA Wilder Realty. Ross is up out of Somerville. Um, so, Ross, tell me a little bit about yourself so people can get to know you. Yeah, well, uh, I'm a proud parent of a two-year-old golden doodle. So there's that, you know, you're in the parent club too. Uh -huh. But yeah, uh, I got into real estate not too long ago and I've been in Somerville ever since and it's been fun. Like, um, just the market's awesome here. Everything's been going great. So I'm, I'm loving real estate, loving that side of things. I was in banking before this. Um, so it's kind of a natural progression for me, but mm -hmm. I've just loved that. But also, my spare time, I go to CrossFit every day. You may be able to tell. No, um, Okay, okay. Well, the camera adds 10 pounds to your arms. Is oh, what they okay. Say. <laughs> yeah, so I love uh, working out, hanging out with friends, going to church, going to the beach, the water. And the funny thing is, is I've actually gone to the beach more, and I think the past month or month and a half than I have in the entire time that I've lived in South Carolina. And so I'm getting like a base layer. You can't really tell, but for me, it's a base layer. <laughs> you pasted like base layer. Yes. Um, well, My mother was a redhead, so like I, oh. I was kind of, yeah. 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 So. so you got the dark Thanks, Mom. The, the she'll watch, she'll watch this for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Um, she might be the only person you know that watches this. <laughs> give us this. a like, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom, give us a thumbs up. Um, <laughs> Well, my name is Bill. As Ross said, I'm also in the parent club. Uh, I do have a four-legged child, um, but I also have a two-legged child who's a maniac and another two-legged child on the way. Yes, congrats. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, when I'm not spending time with them, which is not often, um, I enjoy being out on the golf course, um, taking my kayak out on the river, or helping my clients out. Um, so I've been here with ERA since I started. Um, it was 2016 Rookie of the Year, and yes, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, that was then. This is now. There you go. Um, so, so well, let's, wait, wait, wait. What's your uh, handicap? We don't want to talk about. Okay. It. No, See, I don't, don't even talking. know what a handicap is. I just know that that's what people say in golf. So I thought I'd ask him. Okay. Yeah. No, we don't talk about. <laughs> no, it's it's too high to calculate. Oh. Okay. Um, right. So, um, just a little bit about. This show, like I said, what we're going to do, tell you what's going on in Charleston, uh, what's going on in the real estate market, but also we're going to tell you stories that we've had firsthand experience with, with our clients and our deals, so you can be the best informed consumer when it is time to call us and you're ready to buy or sell your home. Um, again, these first firsthand accounts, we're not just spitting out facts for you, we're telling you actual real things that have happened. Um, so, I mean, for me, um, until this, this, this actually just happened last week. Um, I have a house for sale under contract. Um, I'm representing the sellers. Buyers came in, brought us an offer. We went under contract. That agent did tell me right off the bat, they're using a lender that she didn't recommend. Mm -hmm. She's never worked with them before. So don't worry, you know, we'll, we'll get through it. You know, might not be as smooth as usual. Mm -hmm. you know, Yet not all lenders are created equal. Um, there's a reason we recommend people that we've worked with right. and mm -hmm. we know will fit the timeline. Um, so for example, with this lender, we were supposed to close last Wednesday. Um, we didn't get the appraisal back until last Tuesday. Mm. Yeah, so, that worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that, of course, delayed our closing to this week. Um, Luckily, no one was going to be homeless. There were mm -hmm. no other, you know, they need to sell in order to buy. The right. buyers were living mm -hmm. with their parents at that's the time, true. so they weren't But it doesn't getting, always work out that way. It doesn't. That's, that's the scary thing. Right. The scary thing would have been if the sellers needed to close on this to purchase a new home, they probably would have been closing on the same day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that would have delayed that closing. And then if those sellers were buying a home, that would have delayed another closing. Right. It's so, that domino effect. It is. Yeah. You know, so if, if one thing messes up and they have these staggered closings, yeah. So I see what you're saying. That's a good point. To, that's why we use recommended people is so that those right. things don't happen. Right. So 
if you're looking to buy or even sell a home and your realtor gives you a suggestion, please just call them. Yeah. As you know, especially with lenders, just because your friend had a great experience mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's always gonna be like that or that you're getting the best rate. Shop around. Call at least one other. Put those two against each other. Right. right. To get the best, yeah, deal. make them earn the business, right? Yeah. When when you're buying something, I just bought a refrigerator, got delivered last week. <laughs> I was telling Ross this. I'm an adult now, um, because I got really, I probably got more <laughs> excited for this refrigerator That's great. than I should have. That's great. Then for your your Jetta, yeah, yeah, it's uh, Passat. But Passat. Oh, excuse um, me, excuse um, me. It's a Volkswagen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, but when we bought the refrigerator, we didn't just walk into Lowe's and say. That's it. Mm -hmm. We're buying it. We're taking it home. Uh, we shopped around. We we price checked. We mm -hmm. looked at Home Depot. We looked everywhere. And Lowe's happened to be having a sale forty percent off. Um, was it so a July four sale? It was. Yes. It was. Yes. Uh, so we got a great deal, mm -hmm. but we also looked around. Mm -hmm. And you have to do that with everything. You know, you're spending a lot of money on this home. And just you know, point two five percent on your interest rate over the course of thirty years is a lot of money. Yeah, it may not look like it right now, but multiply that by thirty per year, and you're looking at yeah. that money. Yeah, that's true. And another thing, one thing too, since we're kind of talking about loans, is I always advise my clients. It I like to hear what your goals are. You know, if your goal is to buy this house and you don't think you're going to move, maybe. For, for the 30 years and you're gonna be in it, right? Or if you think that you're, hey, I'm, I'm here, I'm kind of transient, I'm just gonna be here for maybe two or three years, then that looks a little different in the lending process, right? So right. when you're talking about that rate, sometimes a higher rate, if you're gonna be in it for a long term, that's not what you want. But if you can get a higher rate with maybe um, some closing costs or things like that, and you're only gonna be in it for a few years, mm -hmm. that, that interest rate isn't gonna catch you, right? But so as again, much. as much, right? And so that's why, you know, us as, as real estate agents, as realtors, we know enough about the lending industry or the repair industry or things like that just to kind of give you some advice and give you right. some professional names because we're not professionals in those arenas, right. which is why we have a list of people that we recommend. So at the end of the day, I find a lot of times clients will ask me, right, they ask us our opinions on things. Right. But we have to. We have that caveat that, hey, we're not experts in that realm. We're, we're here for you for real estate. We're experts in real estate. But when it comes to these things, like, hey, use some of these preferred people that we have right. um, and get that professional opinion. Exactly. So it doesn't come back to bite you. Right. You know, um, South Carolina, we're an attorney state. So you need an attorney to help close mm -hmm. on your home. Well, if you have attorney questions, we're going to direct you to that attorney. If you've got an agent who's answering all the attorney questions for you, you might want to take a step back Correct. and think about it. Mm -hmm. um, because I know for me, if I'm using someone and their answer to me is, you know, that's not my area of expertise, but let me get you in touch with someone mm -hmm. who it is, mm -hmm. I'm going to trust them more than them being the expert Correct. on everything. Jack of all trades, master of none. And that can get you into some trouble. Correct. Um, Correct. Because acting as an attorney when you're not an attorney can get that's that fun. agent that's in fun, a lot though, right? of trouble. It's fun, um, <laughs> but kidding. we don't do it. We don't do we that. Don't. I watched um, one of my favorite TV shows is called Suits, and it's about a guy mm -hmm. that he's basically super smart, but he couldn't go to law school because of, like he was caught cheating on stuff or whatever. Well, he gets picked up by an attorney's office, and um, he pretends to be an attorney and is brilliant, but then he gets caught. So, side note, but awesome show, awesome show, Suits. I think it's it USA list. Network. But um, but yeah, so we're not, you know, we don't do that. I think one of my my top answers in conversations that I give to clients is I'll get back with you, mm -hmm. right? And I and you know if you're if you're working with someone or working with us, that's not a cop out answer. That it, it's like he said, that is honestly the best. Like, hey, I'm not an expert in that, so give me a day, give me a couple hours, and I'll get back to you and I'll get that information for you. Right. Because we don't right. want to profess to be experts in everything, right? No, I don't want to be an expert in no. everything. Mm -mm. I know I know the market. I can get your house sold. I can get you in a house, but I'm not going to do attorney work. I'm not going to do accounting work. Correct. Um, he may mow your yard for you. I've done that. I have. He'll do it I've, for all I will, of your listings. For free. I will. I will cut grass if you're out of town um, to make that house sell. Yep, yep, yep. But I'm not going to do. Get it work. sold. Get it yes. sold. Yes. All right. So I hope that was helpful to everyone. If you have any questions, um, just throw them in the comments below on this video um, and. 
we'll we'll get back to you on those. Um, I'll so, get back to you. Yeah, I'll get back <laughs> to you. Um, it'll be a race. Um, no, that's our catchphrase, right? I'll get back. Uh, I'll to get you. back to you. Yeah, so uh, uh, I see where you're going with that. I'm... <laughs> all right, all right. So, so around town. So let's say just move to Charleston, and you don't know what to do. What's what's going on this week in Charleston? Um, well, there's a few things going on on Wednesday down at Folly Beach in front of the tides. Every Wednesday in the summer, they do movies on the beach. Um, this week, yes. Star Wars: The Last bum, Jedi. Bum, so, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> hire me for all your soundtrack needs. Yes, yes. he's an expert in soundtracks. Um, so that's awesome. If you've got kids, or you're just looking for something to do, take a lawn chair, go sit down on the beach, watch Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't like Star Wars, just go and sit yeah, on the beach and watch neat. a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I know we just missed it. Uh, they did Top Gun. Wow. Down there. Um, so American. Mm, I know. So American. Yeah. Um, so, um, another thing that's going on, it is sold out this week, though. Mm, bummer. Um, you know, on Friday is the Charleston Margarita Festival at Brittle Bank Park. Um, if you have a ticket, awesome. Um, I missed out. I don't know if you're going. Clearly, I missed out. No. But it's the All third right. annual. It must be popular. Yeah. Um, it's sold out both years. Will Jimmy Buffett be um, there, or is that just no. a rumor? No, it's okay. a rumor. Rumor. Um, will be there. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, if you got tickets to that, awesome. Drink one for us. It'll be a great time. If you don't have tickets, James Island County Park, you want to tell them what's going on there, Russ? Sure. Who likes reggae music? Uh, I kind of do. I, I think I could get behind it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there's a reggae summer night concert happening at James Island County Park. The gates are open at 7.30. Um, music by some awesome people. But again, we just like to give you some things to do around here. Do Take your family out. Have a good time, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what we do. Is like You might see us as, um, oh, they're always doing stuff with real estate, and that's great. But hey, we do have a life, too. We like to right. have fun. I might get down to some reggae music. I could see it happening. Yeah. See, so is there a price? The admission's $10 for that. So again, it's something that's affordable, mm-hmm. fun to do for the family. Yeah, and um, that's per car. Um, right. If you have a membership to the parks, mm-hmm. uh, my family and I have one. Uh, so oh, y'all are fancy. Down. Yeah, we are. Fancy. Um, then you can get in for free with your membership. Uh, I think that's it's cool. about $70 a year. Get you into all the Charleston County parks for free. Um, mm-hmm. And that includes Beach Walker down on Kiowa, which is $15 a car. Hmm. And the park at the end of Folly, which is ten dollars a car. Nice. So get worth one of those getting. passes. Yeah, it's worth getting for sure. Yeah, and it's as many pe- up to fifteen people. If you can cram <laughs> fifteen people in your car, and you're a family <clears throat> of clowns, then you can get in for free. Hey, if or <laughs> for or for the ten or fifteen bucks. Um, I say so, we try to cram fifteen people in my Camaro. Okay, I'm going to sit that one out. Comment below. I'll pay the admission. Let's cram 15 people in the Camaro. Okay, I'll be in the car behind you. Um, <laughs> in the Jetta. Yeah. Passat. Another thing that's happening today. Now, this is not just in Charleston. It's Amazon Prime Day. Oh, my goodness. I know. Super I've been exciting. waiting the whole year for this. Have you really? Kind of. Uh, last year was kind of disappointing. Well, I, I did get I did get a, a monitor mm, for, for the baby's room. Um, practical. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. It's it's a day and a half this year, mm-hmm. so it actually already started. Um, yeah, they already have some deals going on, things like that. Um, yep, yep. Um, and then tomorrow is World Emoji Day. You know, uh, people love their emojis. What's your favorite emoji? I think Ross? I like. Well, oh, I'm a little stiff. I like this one. That one? Yes, because I'm like okay. whatever. Okay. When Bill texts me, that's usually my response. I'm like whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm I'm. Pretty boring. I like the poop emoji. <laughs> um, I just think it's funny that, of all things, that's what they would put in there. Yeah, it's, I love it. It's now a world emoji day. You know, actually, when I went to the pool the other day, I saw someone floating on a poop emoji. So you have to I might get pool, you. One you have to clean the pool <laughs> yes, out after sure. that. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get him a poop emoji. We yeah. can bring it next next session. Yeah. I you know I like emojis though. I I like how. They've kind of become a social norm mm-hmm. in in text conversations. Now, I'm not the type of person who's gonna have ten emojis there and make Correct. them figure out Correct. the sentence. <laughs> just, um, don't just text an emoji. Yeah, I'll yes. only do it to Ross. Yes. Okay. Fair. Um, but but I like them. Like, yes. You know, I think like, nowadays we're congrats in this... on going under contract. House emoji. Yes. Like, thumbs up. Well, I like the thumbs up. And too. we're we're in the day where like if you didn't send an emoji, it's like are are you angry? 
are you mad? Right. You just put a period, so like, is there something wrong here? So, yeah, I love that. And especially even, like you said, with clients and stuff, a lot of things can be lost in communication. So it's like, mm-hmm. I meant that to be happy, therefore I'm going to put a smiley face with it. So right. right. Thanks to whoever created text, emojis. I don't text okay anymore. You know, yeah, for sure. Up, for sure. Uh, for me. A um, couple other national holidays um, this week. Thursday's National Hot Dog Day, and it's also National Daiquiri Day. So I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing for dinner on that day, hot dogs and daiquiris. Usually uh, Sonic has like 50 cent mm-hmm. corn dogs, I think, that day, something like that. So mm-hmm. be on the lookout. Yeah, or if you're over in Mount Pleasant, you've never been out to uh, Jack's Cosmic Dogs hmm. out there, out by 41, highly suggest that. Uh, great blue cheese coleslaw. Oh, I love blue cheese coleslaw. Yeah. Um, Perfectly Frank's, too, which was in Somerville, it shut down. A lot of people thought it disappeared, but it actually moved to Knightsville. Oh, really? Um, I did not know that. Yes. But so that's also another one. And that guy actually graduated from the University of Alabama, which is my alma mater, Roll Tide. Okay. I had to slip it in. So <laughs> next episode's going to just be me. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, and then kind of last little holiday, Sunday is National Parents Day. So mom, stepdad, grandparents... In-laws, hey, happy Parents' Day. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Um, they regretted everything since that day. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm a, so. Do you have siblings? I don't. Okay. I'm, We're both I'm, only children. I this know. is weird. I know. Gloriously wow. only children. I'm perplexed. Usually only children don't get along. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We'll yeah. see. Um, yeah, they I'm always want their own way. So I that's mean. correct. If if we're on the same same page about things, that's great, though, right? Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. So shout out to the moms and dads. Yeah, moms and dads of the world, um, and my wife, who's a great mom. That's so. awesome. And Ross for being a dog dad. <laughs> Yay! So I'm um, a fur baby. Yes. <laughs> Sunday is also. We'll talk more about this next week. But starts my favorite week of the year. Shark Week. So, all right. Well, (laughs) all right, everyone. Thanks for joining us for our first episode of How's It Going? If you want more information on anything, you want us to send you some information on the events or, you know, about the lenders that we recommend or just any questions about the real estate market, uh, just give one of us a call. Again, I'm Bill. This is Ross the Realtor. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. See you guys.